Okay, welcome again guys. In this video, I'm going to do a short guitar tutorial on how to play Creamer Radio instead by Limp Bizkit. I also did a full guitar cover of this song in another video, so you can either go and check out from the link in the description, and I will also leave the links in both the beginning and the end of the video, okay? Make sure that you go and check it out, because uh, this will help you to know what the guitar actually sounds like in the song, okay? I also included how to tune the guitar effects for this song, and the delay settings at the end of the video so make sure that you watch the video till the end okay so without saying anything further let's get to it okay the first thing is the tuning of the song okay it's going to be just in the standard tuning and the tempo is going to be 102 bpm and the timing is just 4 4 timing okay i just use these the atario strings that are already on my guitar and you already know how the standard tuning is going to sound like okay Okay guys, so this is going to be the intro and the ending of the video. I made it easier for both you guys and myself by including the tabs at the bottom. So um, I will not have to explain the finger positions and also it will be easy for you guys to just look at the screen and follow. Okay, so this is how it's actually going to sound like with the delay on. Let me turn on my delay. Okay, so here's how it's going to sound like. Okay, now this is going to be without the delay. And in a slower timing. Okay, this is going to be the first part of the song. The whole song is in eight notes, and I play every note uh, with the downstroke. And I think it's more, I think it's better uh, because uh, there's like a break in between each note, and it sounds more appropriate with the song. Okay, so this is how it's going to sound sound like uh, for the verse. Okay, so without the delay. Slower. Okay. All right. Now this part is going to be the chorus, and make sure that you watch till the end of the video, so um, you'll know how the delay, uh, delay settings are going to be, delay and the guitar effect settings are going to be. Okay. So this is going to be the, uh, be the chorus. <laughs> Without the delay. Slower. Okay. So this is going to be the last pair of notes for the song. And this is the uh, bridge or the break part. And here's how it's going to sound like with the delays on. Without the delays. Slower. Okay, so I've covered all the pairs. 
kinds of notes in the song. So you guys just have to listen to the song and just play along. Okay, in the next part, I'll be covering how to tune the guitar effects and the delay settings. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the uh, guitar effects setting for the song. Um, as you can see from here, I have the noise gate in the beginning of the signal chain. I uh, kept the decay at zero, thrash at 66, but um, it depends on the noise that you want to get rid of. So uh, you can set it at whatever you want. Um, and then the next, in the next part of the signal chain, I have the digital delay pedal, and this is important. I put it uh, before the amp, and I keep the settings at, um, for the time, I kept at 470, uh, feedback at 40, and then mix at 70, okay? And then I have the amp. So for the amp, I just use the uh, tread blade, uh, which is the Masabuki simulated amps from the Bot HD 500X. Um, I also keep the settings at default for, this, for, the, for the amp. Um, and the only thing I change is I lower down the mist to 29%, okay? And then finally, in the last part of the signal chain, I have this spring reverb also kept at the default settings, okay? Um, if you guys want um, more distortion sound or anything like that, you can either increase it from the drive from the amp or you can insert the um, overdrive or distortion pedals before the amp, okay? So that's it guys. Um, I, ho I hope that this video helped you guys to learn the song. Um, please make sure to check out my full gu guitar cover video of this song. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for that and then also you can uh, see that at the end of the video. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.